For the first time in our club's history, we've got a Ballon d'Or winner. That's right, Igor Ribeiro, who we scouted from the favelas in Brazil, has now gone on to become the world's greatest player. But who would have thought the Ballon d'Or would cause unbelievable amounts of controversy at the club? You see, we've got Kylian Mbappe, who thinks that he's the best player in the world. So for him to sit and watch Igor Ribeiro take home the Ballon d'Or, probably stung quite a bit. To make things worse, we promised Igor Ribeiro that we'll make him the highest paid player if he ends up winning the Ballon d'Or. And upon doing that, we've pissed off Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe has already started to fake injuries and apparently now he's got a broken toe and he's out for the next seven weeks. It just makes no sense. And okay, we've just received an email from Mbappe's agent. When Mbappe signed for you, he signed believing that he's going to be the star of this project, but you've disrespected him by making Igor Ribeiro the highest paid player of the club. Kylian is hurt by this and has decided to never play for your club ever again. Okay, guys, what even is that? We paid 300 million to sign Mbappe and he's now saying he's not going to be stepping on the football pitch, especially when we're battling in the Champions League group stages, as well as the Premier League. No way, man. We invested so much in Mbappe. Is there any way we can fix the situation? I don't think giving Mbappe the same wages is going to help because he's already earning just £10,000 less than Ribeiro. I think what's really pissed him off is, is the Ballon d'Or. But there's nothing we can do about it. You know what, guys? If Mbappe wants to just sit on the bench and rot, we'll let that happen. I'm not going to sell Mbappe. We'll keep him here, make him watch as Igor Ribeiro and the rest of the boys get the job done. Because I ain't playing games with Mbappe. We're not going to be forced to sell him. Eventually, he'll realize that if he wants to win trophies and individual awards, he's going to have to play. Yup, that's the stance we take. We're not going to get bullied by this guy. Okay, it says seven weeks and Mbappe will recover. Maybe that's a good enough time frame for Mbappe to just realize how stupid he's behaving but until then we need to get out of our champions league group and also stay in the fight for the premier league title well with mbappe injured you know who's getting the opportunity it's big boy dave rooney i think we're really gonna need to see igor ribeiro step things up now with mbappe gone he's our de facto leader guys one thing's for sure we're not mbappe fc we've got a lot more talent so i think we should be fine ribeiro I could square this one for Dave Rooney. It's the right thing to do. And there you go. We take the lead. One man who's enjoying all this drama is probably Dave Rooney. Because he knows he's going to be back in the team with this. A few moments later. Okay, let's not concede, please. There you go. I mean, whether Mbappe was on the pitch or not, I don't think it would have made a difference. We would have conceded this goal regardless. But yeah, we've got the firepower to score more. And oh, wait. Ribeiro getting taken out like that. Now, nah, we need to beat these guys. They're not playing good football. They're playing dirty football. I don't like this. Giving away free kicks like this can always be dangerous. Rangers, a lot of power behind this, I think. And it almost went in. Oh, look at Rico Lewis's pace. That is absolutely ridiculous. He's now 1v1. Chance to score. What has he done there? Bro, where's the composure? Come on, Rico. From those positions, you've got to be putting them in. Those are the kind of situations where I'm wondering if we had Mbappe. Would he have been there to, you know, just give an easy tap in because of his pace? Probably. Guys, we're kind of getting cooked right now. If we concede now, it could be a really bad situation. Thankfully, the linesman has called that offside. Enzo with a couple of good touches. Oh, I see you, Billy Wilson. Go on. Dave Rudy's making the run. Dave Rudy 1v1. Make the most of the opportunities he slotted the ball home and Bobby who man we've got Dave Rooney who's back to brace in the Champions League oh Dave Rooney has got the pace I think to burst through there the strength as well Dave Rooney now looking for a hat-trick. He's trying to bring it inside. Bruh. And oh, that was almost his hat-trick goal. Ribeiro now. Oh, lovely ball for Dave Rooney. On the half volley. Can he score this? Of course he can. It's a hat-trick for Dave Rooney. He's the one enjoying the most seeing all this Mbappe chaos. And tell you what, that ball from Igor Ribeiro was just perfect. Full time, guys. And it's awesome to get the win. The team also feels so much more united. Maybe without Mbappe, we can still be successful. Successful. But I think the real test to see us without Mbappe is going to be the game against PSG. If we can beat them, not only I think are we going to top our group, but also it'll show Mbappe that he doesn't have all the cards. We're still in charge. We can do this without him. I can't believe Mbappe is missing an opportunity with a silly injury excuse against this former club PSG in Paris as well. Ah, it's just, it's just silly what's happening. I see Dave Rooney again in a space. Dave Rooney has just been in incredible form since Mbappe's injury. Ah, oh, but the post denies him.
Oh, this nope. is bad as Sam Dickel forced to make a big save. Banan Banan versus Usman Dembele. He puts in a crunching challenge. You'll love to see that. Dave Rooney finding space now. Oh, Igor Ribeiro gets it. <gasps> Tough chance, but no. Uh-oh, this is a problem. Sam Tickle with an unbelievable save. We get it away. Another chance, and Sam Tickle again with the save. After all those saves, now we're on the charge here with Lewis Hall making a really good <gasps> run, but he can't get the cut back. Oh, Usman Dembele's pace is ridiculous. How do we deal with that? Bernard, Bernard, Easy. doing everything to track back. And that is outrageous defending. Igor Ribeiro sees the run of Enzo Fernandez, the Argentinian. No, that was the easiest chance he would ever get. Kovalenko looking for the cross in. Sir Thomas Arnold in the box. You can't write this. He's getting into the habit of scoring a few headers. No Mbappe, no problem. Our center back is coming up with the goods. Look at that for a header as well. Placed it to perfection. A huge win for us in the Champions League. And we're doing all of this without our 300 million pounds signing Mbappe. We're making a statement here. Oh, but also all that focus in the Champions League has left us vulnerable in the Premier League. We're five points off the top. We're playing Spurs up next. And let's use this game to close the gap down a bit. Oh, and also before the game, if you guys want to rep the world's best club, get your S2GFC merch. And I've got some special news for you guys. We're running a special promotion on the jerseys. Because I want to see you guys represent the club. 15% off on the football shirts. Just use code S2G Team 15 off. It'll be right there on your screen so you can note it down exactly. And yep, you can get your kits and represent the club. Just like Dave Rooney out there. Just like Igor Rivero. Once again, really appreciate all the support on the kits and everything, man. It, it really means a lot. It's so cool to see the community we've built around S2G FC. But now, let's get back to business in the Premier League, closing down the gap. And we do that by beating Spurs. Oh, I see the space here for Billy Wilson who keeps running through. Should be a simple finish. Tries running down the keeper and the keeper is coming into foul penalty. With no Mbappe, there's only one man to take it and it's Igor Ribeiro. Can the Brazilian convert? He's missed. Igor, you're getting all the responsibility now without Mbappe. You can't be doing that. You're supposed to set an example. What a ball that is for Kovalenko. He's going to square it for Dave Rooney. Diving header. Maybe the diving header was a bit overkill. He could have just stabbed it home. But still, Dave Rooney's incredible form continues. And so, good ball for Dave Rooney, who's once again in a scoring position. Gets it back for Enzo Fernandez, and that's 2 0 against Spurs. And yup, we've secured the win. Look at that, boys. Igor Ribeiro, it's just, he's just rubbing salt to the wounds, man, by taking home another Player of the Month award. And also, we're slowly climbing up, but we haven't figured out a way to close the gap down. We're second in the Premier League, but at least we're making progress. Meanwhile, in the Champions League, the job's done. We've secured top spot in this group. The final group stage game is all but a formality. We're just going to rotate the squad massively. Yep, we're actually going to be playing Will Power in this one. Anyways, let's just get it out of the way. And we still got a draw, not Bad. And this season, we've managed to top our Champions League group. I feel bad for PSG. They've been knocked out in the group stages. Step one of becoming the world's best club is complete. Topping our Champions League group. I can't wait for the knockout. Has Mbappe's mind changed? Is he going to stop faking injuries and play for the team? Oh my days. It's just the same. Hyper extended knee this time and out for five months. What is Mbappe doing? Okay, I've just got a message from our club captain, Bernard, Bernard. Hey, boss. Hate to say this, but I think you need to do something about Mbappe. He's ruining the atmosphere at the club. Just causes problems during training. He's not serious. He does not care about the team. I think he shouldn't be a part of this team, especially if we want to win the Champions League. Do you know what? When the captain speaks, I guess we listen. Initially, I did say I was willing to ruin his career and just keep him at the club in the reserves. But if that's affecting the rest of our team, I think we should just, just sell him. Just let him go. Because our team right now, with Without Mbappe, is looking at the most united it's ever been. But if we do terminate Mbappe's contract, it's not only going to cost us 9 million. Nike are going to be unhappy. We're going to have to pay a penalty. It's a big decision we're making. But hey, if he's unwilling to play alongside Igor Ribeiro, if he's still going to have these attitude problems, then I guess we have no choice. And there you go, guys. We've terminated Mbappe's contract. He's off. 
leaving. We're kicking him out of the club. It's such a shame because when Mbappe balled out for us, he really was amazing. I remember him scoring hat tricks and everything, but his ego has cost him. We're trusting in our boy Igor Ribeiro instead. Goodbye, Mbappe. Oh my days. He's joined Man City. I can't believe this. I literally can't believe this. Probably our biggest rivals in this series. Not only have they got our former keeper, Francisco Rodriguez, they've got the criminal Toby Payne, and now they've got Killian Mbappe and also Erling Haaland in the same team. We're going to be up against this Manchester City super side, not only in the Premier League, but also in the Champions League because they've topped their group too. You might be thinking, yo, we've got 165 million to make more signings. We can bring in an Mbappe replacement, maybe strengthen the defense. But no, no, no. Remember when we did sign Mbappe, Nike funded half the transfer, which was exactly 150 million. Now I've just received an email. We've got to return that money because of the chaos we've caused with Mbappe. And there goes that budget down to 15 million. Well, guys, we're at the end of the trans window and that was a quick one. All that's happened is Mbappe betraying and leaving us. To be fair though, guys, even if I could sign a new striker, I think Dave Rooney has earned his spot as our starter. And I think this is going to be the team that we're going to attempt to try and win the Champions League with. I think it's possible. This team got me the Premier League. I don't see why we can't win the Champions League as well. So there you go. Transfer window done. We're ready. The serious business for us is about to start. Round of 16 and we've got Bayer Leverkusen. Man City have got Juventus. Some interesting draws in there. Our journey to make S2GFC Champions League winners begins now and without Kylian Mbappe. I'm hoping Igor Ribeiro, the Ballon d'Or winner, has what it takes to lead this team. There's absolutely no excuses, guys. We need to make it to the quarterfinals. Leverkusen, of course, have got a great coach and they play a very weird formation, so it's going to take a bit of adjusting to get used to it. And already these guys are on the front foot and it's, it's not looking good. We're getting nope. outplayed here. Sam Ticklefors to make a save. And remember, guys, this is only the first leg. We need to stay calm and not do anything silly. Oh, and looks like a fall players. It's Kobe Maidu who's managed to break through. We don't know how good of a shot he's got, Enough. but he's tried to slide it home, but he couldn't get it on the rebound as well. Kovalenko with the delivery. Oh. Thomas Arnold's header. It had the power, not the accuracy. Ribeiro. Inside for Billy Wilson. Looks for Lewis Hall. Oh, sliding in for Dave. Dave Rooney. Oh, he went for it, but the keeper saved it. I'm sure the media around the world is just asking the same question, whether we can do it without Mbappe. And I think we just need that first goal to prove everyone wrong. But right now, Leverkusen get the goal. This is exactly what we didn't need. We're going to be on the back foot now for the entirety of this game, but we need to stay calm. It's a two-legged affair. There's a lot of football left to be played. No, we concede another goal. It's going to be a disaster. Brilliant from Bernard. Oh, no. They've broken through. Sam Tickel can't do a thing. Chips the keeper. We're 2-0 down and we're collapsing. You just know somewhere, Killian and Bob is smiling and enjoying this. Can't believe it, guys. Our dream of winning the Champions League with all the chaos around the Mbappe transfer, it might just get crushed right here, right now. This is horrendous. We can't still give up, though. We've got the world's best player, Igor Ribeiro, in our team, but he's unable to do a thing. If we let it become 3-0, might as well just not play the second leg. It'll be over. A lot of space here for Kovalenko, but he needs to make the good use of it, and he's done that by sending Dave Rooney through. Massive chance. Dave Rooney gives us a lifeline. That is what we needed full time and at least we've got something to fight for on the second leg dave rooney has given us oh look at that guys man city have almost done the job by winning the game i'm sure mbappe being there is helping them out massively it's now our turn to get the job done in the second leg the good news is this game is being played at home and we're gonna do everything to make the comeback happen truthfully told guys we're a way better team than by leverkusen we have to do this now it's just about being defensively smart and not conceding a silly goal here. We concede first, then we've got problems. <laughs> but yup, if Bernard defends like that, we're gonna be fine. We got Ribeiro finding space, and that finesse shot was unreal. That's why he's a Ballon d'Or winner. Ribeiro getting us the equalizer. And oh, we're playing the best football we've played in a while. Kovalenko looking for that cross. Dave Rooney again with the diving header. We've turned things around almost instantly. I think if we get one more goal, we could settle this game already. And Dave Rooney is taking one from distance. Dave Rooney, that might be a goal of the season contender. Dave Rooney.
Messi has just done a madness. I can't believe it. That might be the best goal in this entire series in the Champions League to produce that. What a strike. He put everything into that. Bob Bins. My goodness, look at this angle. It was a rocket. Maybe Mbappe leaving was the best thing to happen to us because it's unlocked Dave Bruni. And yes, it's enough to send us through the Champions League quarterfinals. The draw, by the way, is yet to be made. Man City and the other teams are yet to play their second leg game. So we don't know who we're going to be facing in the quarterfinals. But now my confidence is back. I really think this season we could take S2GFC all the way to the Champions League. The journey continues in the next one.